Hi guys, sorry for the massive delay between the last video and this video. I did actually film another one for you and it was a half and half on the new Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette and the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and I did one eye with one and one with the other. And when I came to edit the footage, half of the footage was out of focus. So frustrating, so I didn't want to put that up for you. I will refilm that and get it up, but I just haven't had a chance yet to do a new full makeup look. So today I'm going to get up my August favourites. I've got quite a few down here, so I'm going to get cracking straight away, otherwise it'll be quite a long video. I'm going to start with, I've got three different um, sort of eye products to discuss with you. So I'm going to start with Lilash, which is an eyelash serum. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of it. There's similar things like Rapid Lash and... Um, what's the other one that quite a lot of people use? I can't think. There's another one that I know is quite a popular one. But this is one that I'd heard had the best results. So I've given it a go. It says you need to take 12 weeks before you see the full results. And I started using it on the second week in July. So I'm not quite that far through yet. But I have really noticed a big difference in my eyelashes already. How much longer they are. So I've taken a few pictures. One from sort of the beginning of July and one, when did I take it? Maybe last week sometime. So I'm going to take a few photos for you and then I'll do a blog post on it so you can see up close the difference because I know on camera it's sort of hard to tell but I can definitely tell the difference so I'm going to keep using this. It isn't cheap, I think this little tube was £60 and this is a three month supply. Yeah I think this is the three month supply and they do sell it in a six month supply which is obviously more money but better value but I've really noticed the difference in the last two weeks so that is a big favourite of mine and then on the lash sort of point of view um, I did a blog post on three new mascaras that I'd got these were two of them and then there was a bourgeois one and I am absolutely loving pairing these two together so this is the Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Baby Roll from L'Oreal and this I use as my first layer on my lashes because this is waterproof. So for me, I have naturally very straight, um, normally relatively short, but they've got a bit longer with the serum, but naturally very straight lashes. So I have to really curl them to get a curl. And if I go straight in with a normal mascara, not uh, a waterproof, the curl drops quite a lot, sometimes the whole way down, but certainly a decent drop. So... I use the baby roll first, which I really enjoy the way it coats the lashes and holds the curl. So I'm enjoying that and then pairing it with two layers of the Paradise. Uh, this is also L'Oreal. This is the Paradise um, Ecstatic uh, Mascara. This isn't waterproof. So I do one layer of that on both eyes, let them dry, and then I go back in with another layer. And I find that really gives a good dark, full, quite volumised, longer than normal lash and they last really well. I don't know, because I haven't been using this on its own, I don't know if it's the waterproof underneath that's stopping this flaking or whether just they don't flake, but I don't get any transfer into the eye. The only time I get transfer on the top is if my lashes touch the top of my eye before they've dried, but I don't get, you know, the sort of black marks under the eye or anything, so they're a firm favourite. This I got on an introductory offer, I think, at £9.99. It might have gone up to £12.99. So a little bit pricier for a drugstore mascara, but certainly cheaper than, obviously, buying something from, say, Selfridges or where have you. So loving those. Then, on to the lips. I've also done a blog post on these, which I'll link down below. These are the new Power Matte Lip Pigments from NARS. I've got three colours. My pink one is somewhere else, but these are my two favourites anyway. So it's Get It On, which is this uh, beautiful nude colour. Um, I've just put just today another Instagram picture up of that as well, so I'll insert that somewhere on the screen if I can. And then this is called Rock With You, and this is a very deep, plummy... Um, sort of purple colour again I'll put a picture up on the screen somewhere of me wearing that but these are a matte lip formula which are so comfortable to wear and I find that they layer really nicely so today I did have on all day I've now got on um, In Love With Ginger by 
Maybelline I think it is but prior to that I've had on a Sephora liquid lip all day and I used to think they were great and really comfortable compared to other liquid lips I've tried but now that I've worn it after trying these and a few other ones that I think are better um, I found it really drying I found when I put a second layer on it started to ball up and like really sort of show all the dry bits on my lips whereas I just don't feel like you get that with these I think they're so comfortable they're 23 pounds each I love the packaging I love that you can see the color through them obviously I love NARS anyway but you know it's not just because they're NARS I just think they are fantastic products so I've been really enjoying those then I don't know if I've already put this in a favorite I know I've done a review on the brushes um, and it's the Real Techniques powder blue brushes and they are so soft they're amazing I love the eyeshadow brush um, but I'm really enjoying this one which is number B02 and I'm really enjoying it for my contour and I just find that I, and I do apply it with this but I sometimes apply it with sort of a little straight contour brush and draw it on a harsh line and then I just take a little bit extra on this brush and really blend it out in the hollows of my cheeks I just I'm really really enjoying using this every day I'm reaching for it I was away at the weekend in London packed it it was like I've got to take this brush with me so really love those I think this brush might be £22 if I remember rightly then I've got two more beauty and one fashion. This is the YSL Glow Shot in what colour is it? It's definitely, I think it's 01. It doesn't say around, I'm sure it's 01. It's the lightest colour and it's a little tube and it's a cream highlight and I just think it is the most beautiful shimmering highlight that leaves such a glow to the skin as you would expect from a glow shot I think it blends in beautifully I've enjoyed using it as a highlighter on the tops of my cheeks but also I've actually been using it under my foundation to give a glow to the whole face and then going in with my foundation on top which I do love but I must say I started to realize very quickly on that I was using a lot of the product obviously it's a thin tube and to cover your whole face rather than just dab you know a little bit on the high points of the face is a lot more excessive but that is the way that I enjoy using it so I've started trying to save it for slightly more special occasions on a daily basis but really really like that I have got another colour from them the not the pink one the other colour um, which I think might be number two which I do like but not as much as number one number one's my definite favourite and then lastly is the next summer sun again I've done a full blog post on this this is an absolute dupe for the bronze goddess from Estee Lauder it is identical I don't know how next haven't been sued quite frankly sorry next but it is the exact same as bronze goddess and I think this size bottle is eight pounds I think they do a smaller one and a larger one for 12 and I just think for that money it's just amazing I wear it every day you know you can put a load on and not need to worry that you're wasting your best most expensive perfume so that's a winner from next and lastly Again, if you follow me on Instagram, little shameless plug, Alice Loves XO. Um, these I have been wearing a lot on my Instagram, and it's these amazing tassel earrings from Topshop. I've had them now for two or three weeks, and I have just worn them non stop. Now, one thing I must say, as a slight negative, I have very sensitive ears and I do normally wear like genuine metal so I've got some diamond earrings that I wear quite a lot or my gold ones are you know properly gold plated or solid gold rather than these which are obviously just fashion earrings so they're not even gold I don't know what it is and after wearing them I wore them all of Friday and then I did wear them all of Saturday as well I told you I'm loving them uh, and when I took them out on Saturday my actual ear was bleeding uh, quite a lot so if you've got sensitive ears these might not be the one for you I just am going to grin and bear it because I absolutely love them so I'm just going to get on with it but I'm probably not going to wear them for two days back to back and on Saturday I literally wore them all day and night we didn't go home to change so I had them on from say 11 o'clock until maybe 1am so that you know they they were in a long time but I just think they're so fun so beautiful I just want to touch them all the time love the colour I think they go with everything and they're, as I think I said, but they're from Topshop and I think they were about eight or 12 pounds. So they're a firm favorite. And that is all my favorites. So 
thanks for watching guys as I say sorry for such a long wait please subscribe down below if you want to see some more of my videos and I will have that um, eye comparison video up for you I'm not going to make a promise but definitely sometime this week anyway see you next time bye